sends it long. Well way to kick Grant in best position. Round seven and back to Adelaide, this time to face Port, and this time the result would be quite the opposite. A seven goal opening quarter set the stage for a massive win, ending an eight game losing streak against the power. This would be the Bulldogs at their most awesome, with winners on every line. Murphy with a dozen marks, Cross and West with 30 plus possessions were the stat stars. Can go back to Cooney. He's already kicked a couple from right on the 50. Sends it goal. Well, this will be close. And again. He's kicked his third. Well, what a beauty. Oh, running now straight. Straight, yes. Straight. Throws it on the boot. Long towards full forward. Big leap Johnson again. Oh, he is a super player. Moving at the speed of dark. There goes the kick. <laughs> Eagleton is running around the outer side. Look at all this space. He's on a lead, Wicks. someone. Johnson pops it back to Eagleton. I thought a whistle had gone and play had stopped. It was that leisurely, and he pops it through. Plenty of energy from the dogs. He sets it long. Johnson's run on and takes the uncontested mark. Points it across to Boyd. Boyd goes in and kicks the goal. Eagleton, former Port player, draws a man like a relay race around the outer side Robbins inside the 50 Johnson behind missed it Montgomery open goal clever kick skipper into space clever Ray is running he can line up and kick it goal 40 meters out oh good chase there from Marnie affected the kick clever by Robbins cross goes in and gets the goal anyway interesting tried to thread it back to John Siracusa scrambled out of there by Walsh gathered by West on the 50 Eagleton's got it now, steps inside the 50 and kicks a brilliant goal. Oh, that hurts. Murphy drives it down towards the attacking 50 and the mark is taken by Montgomery, released it very quickly. Cooney, now Grant pulls it back across the body and bounces through for a goal. Here's Cooney. And they're starting to look irresistible again. They're running. Johnson's away. Look a couple of time. bounces. Oh, great chase from Pierce. But running alongside was Griffin, who'll bounce it through for another one. Now Smith to midfield. Look at this run. They're suited by the ground, and they're suited by the opposition. McMahon hey, advantage is paid. McMahon gave Kick it to Ray, then was put down. Ray runs inside the 50 and kicks a goal. Embarrassing again for Port Adelaide. Kingsley, he's about to get caught, does get caught. Hahn thought about putting him down, but Robbins had the ball. He didn't need to. Long towards Cooney. Bishop tries oh. to thump it, but thumps it to Johnson. Snaps it, goals it, loves it. I've got to tell you something in a second. Oh. 99. If he handballs, it'll be the 200th handball for the match. There well, it is. First West. time this season. <laughs> is that Robbins snapping at goal? I think it is, and he's put it through. But it was pleasing the way we won. Um, obviously got off to a great start and then um, able to answer a couple of challenges you know, just before half time and then certainly early in the third, third quarter they got a bit of a bit of a run on, got back to under five goals and our guys looked a little bit jittery at that stage but I was just pleased the way they were able to fight their way through that and then, and, and then be able to put the split between us and the opposition. A 76 point flogging. Johnson ended with four goals and the three Brownlow votes. Gian Syracuse had a blinder and the dogs were settled in fourth place.